What's up, everybody? Welcome back. My name is Harrison. Welcome to the den and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to all and to all a wonderful night. And I don't know what is going on with the hair, but it's Christmas. I've basically been in a food coma all day eating sweets and putting stuff together for my daughter and put her a swing in the backyard and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, yeah, holidays are pretty much a blur when you have little kids. So I have a little bit of time to myself. We're going to be looking at the new Tom McDonald Angels music video. I don't expect this one to be a heavy hitter one, especially since he said for someone who's been going through a hard time, I just expect this to be a good Tom McDonald song. And it dropped on Christmas, so whatever. We're going to be doing this now. And yeah, let's get it going. Uh, if you haven't done it yet, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and uh, comment down something nice below. All right? So I appreciate it very much. Let's go ahead and check it out. It's kind of weird to be doing stuff on Christmas, but such is the time. Such is the time. All right, let's go. It's not the liquor I'm addicted to, it's feeling brave. The feeling of not feeling the pain. I've been on and off the bottle, I put oxys out my nostrils. Believe me, you do anything to breathe before you suffocate. I couldn't stop it, staying Ooh. clean was not a... I got here again. I didn't know if I liked the transition of how the music was going on the on the certain key mel or the melody, but I th I just think I haven't heard the whole thing all the way through. But I want to hear what he's saying again. To it's feeling brave, the feeling of not feeling the pain. I've been on and off. That right there. I don't know what that is. So, dun, dun, dun. I just didn't really like that. But I have to hear it. You know, if you listen, if you listen to one of song, uh, Tom's songs, if you listen to watch a music video, it cuts it to right before he starts speaking, and he does that. He does that because he doesn't let you have like an interlude of music that lets you decide whether you are or not going to listen to it. He gets you right into the music, which is very smart. But he's listening to the actual song. He has a, you know, he has a substantial amount, you know, five to ten seconds or so of music that he plays before he actually starts on the song, singing or anything. So it's always interesting to hear what that is because sometimes, sometimes when when he starts off in his music videos, it feels like it doesn't line up properly. And when it doesn't line up properly, it, like, it just sounds kind of weird. Um, so I think that's what I'm hearing there. So I just want to keep going. Anyways, that's what I say. That. It's not the liquor I'm addicted to. It's feeling brave. The feeling of not feeling the pain. I've been on and off the bottle. I put oxys out my nostrils. Believe me, you do anything to breathe before you suffocate. I couldn't stop it. Stay clean with you would do anything to breathe before you suffocate. Oxy's out my nostrils, believe me. You do anything to breathe before you suffocate. I couldn't stop it. Staying clean was not an option. I was trying to be myself, but being me was such a problem. I just wanted to be Thomas, but Thomas was at the bottom of a holy dug and getting comfortable inside a coffin. He locked it and swallowed the key. Caught up for. Yo, man, this has got some bars, though. I mean, for not. I mean, it's not like a heavy sounding one, but there's still bars in it. Still of a holy dug and getting comfortable inside a. That didn't make sense what I just said, did it? Heavy one, but it's not heavy. It's not like a hard hitch in the face kind of beat, right? But it's a heavy song, but it's still got good bars. That was a little better. Coffin. I just wanted to be Thomas, but Thomas was at the bottom of a holy dug and getting comfortable inside a coffin. He locked it and swallowed the key, caught up, forgot all his dreams, robbed at a common, became embalmed in a toxic routine. Beer was the escape, but I got stuck escaping. Whiskey was the blanket in the coldest basement. Way before the fame, I was wasted. Freezing, doing anything I could to keep the flame lit. To anyone going through the same, heaven's got enough angels. You need to stay here. And I can't make you stay, but sometimes going ain't a choice. And every choice you make is one that you didn't avoid. Crash the whip and ditch the car. Burn a bridge, follow the stars. You'll find monsters in the dark, but nothing's worth it till it's hard. You know, Tom is singing on this. Hold on, hold on. I don't even know how to. I don't even know how to react to this this chorus here. I'm way too good. The car, burn a bridge, follow the stars. You'll find monsters in the dark, but nothing's worth it till it's hard. Sometimes it's hard to see things clear. The liquor I'm addicted to, it's feeling tough. When you get bullied half your life, you feel weak, like you just ain't enough. 
Then you have a couple drinks and you catch a buzz and finally have the courage to defend yourself and throw a punch. And that adrenaline goes straight into your brain and blood. Addicted to the confidence is practically the great. Yeah, that's really true, though, man. I like the way he's saying that because, like, that feeling, if you ever have been bullied or battered like that and you've been put down by people, um, and then you you finally reach outside the comfort zone and you, and like, you know, like you say, you, you throw that first punch. And not necessarily throwing the punch, but landing something like you do something and it is successful and it it connects like landing a punch. That adrenaline, that that feeling builds up inside of you. It, it really is like it's just invigorating, right? So I, I like that. I like that connection, and I like that like um, that bridge that he built between that. That was a good. That was, that was a good word had good word value like you just ain't enough then you have a couple drinks and you catch a buzz and finally have the courage to defend yourself of course he's talking about when you're drinking i'm just talking in general i general um you know, I respect Tom a lot. I'm also sober, so I like that. Love and throw a punch, and that adrenaline goes straight into your brain and blood. Addicted to the confidence is practically the greatest drug. Chasing dragons every night in all the latest clubs. What used to be your favorite thing somehow became a dangerous crutch. It was what it was. Ooh. And that's the thing, it can happen to like any of us. I had great parents, tight friends, strong morals, nice threats, good school, good looking, good grades, time spent. Being normal only lasted for a while. One bad choice sparked a downward spiral. I've spent half my life trying to climb out of. Yep, 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 yep. One down, one, one bad choice, man. My dad always told me, you know, he said when you're young and you're doing stuff right or whatever, and you're growing up. When you're growing up, not just when you're young, but when you're growing up, you, life has all these opportunities, right? You have all these different ways, areas that you can go. But he said the choices that you make as you're going down different paths the choices you make will start to close off. So some of those doors will start to close. It'll start to ruin those chances and opportunities based on your choices and your actions. So that's a lot. You know, you make one bad choice and that can throw you off the path that you're that you're on and send you down one spiral. You take another path and you're, you're you're stuck. You know what I mean? For a while, one bad choice sparked a downward spiral. I've spent half my life trying to climb out of that hole. Heaven's got angels, we need you at home. And I can't make you stay, but sometimes going ain't a choice. And every choice you make is one that you didn't avoid. Crash the whip and ditch the car, burn a bridge, follow the stars. So far, monsters in the dark, but nothing's worth it till it's hard. Sometimes it's hard to see things clear. Through your tears. liquor we're addicted to it the, man, i don't know i don't know like i really like the message of the song but something with the chorus is just not jiving with me i just i don't know what it is particularly maybe i'm just being a little off-putting and i'm sorry if you guys love it I, I don't know what it is it's something i'm just not fitting right with it but that's just me regardless i like the message i like the song I like everything tom does like i don't hate it that's by no, no stretch but it's 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 weird. What does he say? Because he's saying, you know, ain't, you know, heaven's got enough angels. We need you here. So I don't know if this is like a suicide prevention type um, type song. Which, if it is, hats off to you, Tom. I, I hope that it, it, if it's not, that people would still use it as such. Um, again, I still had a friend, a really really close friend of mine, um, a few months back, commit suicide, and. Um, it's just not been the same, you know, it's just not been the same. So I like that aspect of it. And then, so, but what, he goes into the chorus and he says, crash the whip, walk away, burn a, and then burn a bridge. So like you crash the whip. I mean, are, as you're saying, like do something crazy, but walk away from it. Like don't, don't, don't do something with the intent to hurt yourself, but do something like, you know, go release your, it's, release your anger or whatever, because it's hard. And he says in the other part, fight through the tears i don't know so i'm a little mixed on that whether this is like how he's putting it off as like um you know like a suicide prevention thing possibly or whatever or then talking about how i, I don't know I, I, again i'm not jive I, I i'm not catching something here i need to listen to it again let's go back let's every see, let's choice you made but sometimes going one bad choice sparked a downward spiral. I've spent half my life trying to climb out of that hole. 
Heaven's got angels, we need you at home. And I can't make you stay, but sometimes going ain't a choice. And every choice you make is one that you didn't avoid. Crash the whip and ditch the car, burn a bridge, follow the stars. So far monsters in the dark, but nothing's worth it till it's hard. Sometimes it's hard to see things clear. Through your tears. Liquor we're addicted to, it's everything else. The happiness. Unless he's talking about it from the perspective of like an angel. Like he's saying, don't come here. Like in the chorus part, he's refre- reflecting, is like someone from heaven saying, no, you, you need to stay. This is, you know, I, I don't know. Tom, I, I don't know, man. You have you successfully gone over my head. Maybe I'm diving way too much deep into this, and someone's probably sitting back there. Someone's gonna watch this and laugh at me and think, "Man, this guy's stupid." Um, you're probably right. Happiness we had, but we forget how it felt. We've been drinking with the devil because we're going through hell. Pray to God for a little bit of hell. Man, I've been there. I did those things. I drank those drinks. I took those pills. I puked in sinks. And the truth ain't pretty. Listen up. This is a tough one. You get saved by your angels or become one. Crash the whip Ooh. and ditch the car. Burn a bridge, follow the stars. You'll find monsters in the dark, but nothing's worth it till it's hard. Sometimes it's hard to see things clear. Through your tears. But anywhere is way better than here. Fight your fears. Video by Nova, you know the drill. She's making, she's making all that, all the video content. All right, guys, thank you very much. Thank you, appreciate for hanging out with me. I got, I got off on a little bit of a tangent there, but whatever. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, go, make sure you hit actual. Uh, go check Tom's actual video out. Always like, like to get his views up too. He's, he's been, dude, it's crazy. He just beat out Eminem for number one spot on iTunes. That's insane. What? That's crazy. Anyways, thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. Uh, Like always, stay blessed.